welcome back. Really quick, I want to say that I apologize. I did not get my video out this weekend. I was sick over the weekend. I'm still not feeling 100%. So if my voice sounds funny or I sneeze or sniffle, I apologize. I just really wanted to get this video out for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right in. This week's video is going to be on Arizona Bike Week. Let me tell you a little bit about us. We spent about 10 years in the Arizona motorcycle community. So I just wanted to give our take and share our feelings on Arizona Bike Week with you. So first off, 2022 is Arizona Bike Week's 25th anniversary. Bike Week dates are April 6th through April 10th. It is held out at Westworld in Scottsdale, which is a large event center. The rally, music, vendors, and camping are all held at one location. And this year's main concerts are Leonard Skinner, Rob Zombie, and Social Distortion. Sounds like a pretty good lineup, doesn't it? This year, the rally, at the rally, they will be separating the vendors, the bars, and the events from the main concert area. This will allow the rally area to stay open during the evening concerts. In years past, the Rally Midway would close down to accommodate the concerts. Concerts. So this will be a really nice change, allowing the vendors to be able to stay open so rally goers can still do some shopping while the concert events are taking place. So yeah, so during the concerts this year, the vendors will be allowed to stay open, the bars um, and any activities, they will all be away from the main concert area, area and be able to remain active. So that's a good thing. Camping at Westworld, that is a party all in itself with all the camping being walking distance to the main rally area and concerts. And I have to say that um, people up at the camping area, they set up these little sections for a party in and you could just be somebody walking by and they invite you over to have a drink with them. I mean, it is so cool. I mean, the biker community is just, there's nothing like it and I would never want to be a part of any other type of community. I mean, we have such respect for each other. It, it's just wonderful and it is so fun to meet new people and be able to party at the camping. Um, you're definitely going to find that. So if you're camping up there, um, be on the lookout for that. Also, there are activities spread throughout the entire valley during Arizona Bike Week. One of the most popular destinations is called the Dirty Dog Bar located in Scottsdale. They will be having a event tent with live music and they will be active during the entire Bike Week. Um, a few years ago, they even had, well, maybe several years ago now, uh, they had the Flaunt Girls out there at the Dirty Dog. So that's pretty cool. So make sure you check out the Dirty Dog in Scottsdale. Another huge aspect of Arizona Bike Week is it coexists with Cave Creek's Bike Week, which runs April 1st through April 10th. The Cave Creek Bike Week is hosted by the beautiful city of Cave Creek and they are located only about 15 minutes northwest of Westworld. There are two of the coolest 
biker destinations I have ever been to, and they are open year round. Uh, the Hideaway, which is a tiny little bar, um, it's it's cool. It's 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 just a cool little bar with a huge outdoor area and a large patio section. And they also have several vendors there. And they also, at times, um, have live en entertainment also. Uh, then down the road a little bit is the Roadhouse, which is a larger bar. And they have live entertainment inside. And they also have live entertainment outside with a huge covered patio. And they have two outdoor bars as well and i have to say the roadhouse has pretty good food they for being bar food they have some pretty good food they also have at the roadhouse a huge um parking lot section that is full of vendors and sometimes they have a few food trucks in there as well uh, so make sure to check out the vendors and then across the street you have a few more bars and um, vendors as well. It, it's really cool what this little section of town has created right there for the biker community. I, I, just, I just think it's awesome. And like I said, it's, it's active year round, um, even, even in the summer when it's hot. Now, during bike week, they will be having activities there as well such as bike shows, and there will some be some bike builders out there also. Um, so make sure to check out Cave Creek while, while you're there. If you get to the rally early, on April 1st, Mesa, Arizona has what is called Motorcycles on Main. They shut down Main Street to automobile traffic, and it opens up to just motorcycles and hundreds of bikes will fill Main Street um, that evening. And they will also have vendors. Um, there's little shops, really cool shops that you'll wanna check out. They will have live entertainment as well. And they also have a wide variety of food choices and drinks available too. So. What a way to kick off bike week. Stop down on Main Street in Mesa, Arizona on April 1st. One of the most unique things about Arizona Bike Week, in our opinion, is there are five Harley Davidson dealerships in the Valley that host activities during bike week as well. You've got um, Buddy Stubbs in Phoenix, you got Harley Davidson of Scottsdale. You've got Superstition Harley Davidson in Apache Junction. You've got Desert Wind in Mesa, Arizona. And you also have Chandler, Chandler Harley Davidson in Chandler. All are anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes away from Westworld. So that's pretty cool. And again, like I stated, they will be hosting events also um, during the rally. So make sure to check them out and, hey, maybe pick up a t-shirt. Nice souvenir. Anyways, okay. So a couple less known destinations are Tortilla Flats, which is about 45 minutes east of Westworld. It is a scenic desert ride with very windy roads because you are going up a mountain. Um, you'll go past Canyon Lake and I have to say it is a very beautiful ride. So if you have the opportunity, make sure to go check out Tortilla Flats. It is a bar and restaurant destination. And second is um, Santan Flats. It is also a bar and restaurant destination, and it is about 45 minutes southeast of Westworld. Both of these destinations are um, big destinations for the Arizona biker community. So I can guarantee you that there will be plenty of bikers 
um, at each one of these destinations if you choose to go take a ride and check them out. So if you have a chance, make sure to check out Tortilla Flats just east 45 minutes of Westworld or Santan Flats, which is southeast about 45 minutes from Westworld. Now for a day ride. The historical town of Tombstone, Tombstone is about a two and a half hour ride south. It is the home of the OK Corral shootout and the famous birdcage show house. I mean, if you, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the birdcage, but it was a, um, it, it's where they had entertainment back in the cowboy days and the cowboys would go in there and they'd, when they were having a good time, they'd shoot their guns into the ceiling and you can see all the bullet holes up in the ceiling. And I mean, it is such a cool, cool place. Uh, you can do a tour through there. Um, it does cost money. I'm not sure what it costs nowadays, but it's worth it. If you like history, it is super freaking cool. Uh, so make sure to check out the famous birdcage out in Tombstone. You know, and old old cowboy town of Tombstone, it has the, the main street is completely dirt. And um, it is also the home of the Earps. So... Make sure if you have a chance to check it out, you go down there and check it out. You won't be disappointed. All of these destinations that and activities that I have mentioned are in the general vicinity of Arizona Bike Week. I mean, they are literally less than anywhere from 30 to 45 to 50 minutes away um, from Westworld. Other than Tombstone, of course, which is the two and a half hour ride. But seriously, you guys, if you have the time and you want to get out and get on a ride, ride to Tombstone. You will not be disappointed if you do. Okay, and then the last two things I want to address are the highways and the Arizona temperatures. First, the highways. They are vast and can be dangerous for motorcycles. I mean, they can be dangerous for everybody, but they are ex exceptionally dangerous for motorcycles. And let me tell you why. Okay. The highways are very well maintained construction wise, but the state of Arizona does not require trailers or truck beds to be tarped or covered. Therefore, there is constantly debris on the highways. And I'm talking debris such as brooms, rakes, ladders, and I'm not kidding you. It 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 happens. Um, so I just want you to make sure that you are cautious and aware, uh, because chances are you may see debris on the road. Um, secondly, I don't know how it happens, but um, you can be traffic can be going at a normal flow. It, on the highway and all of a sudden just come to a complete stop. A couple minutes later, you're back to a normal flow and then come to a complete stop. I don't understand the physics of it. To me, when you're in a traffic jam and you're in traffic, you're bumper to bumper forever. It's not really how it works in Arizona. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. And I just want you to be aware be cautious that you may have to come to an instant stop when you are on the freeways in Arizona. Just keep that in mind, please. Um, and I'm going to throw this out there. Um, people like to drive fast in Arizona. So if you are not familiar with Arizona driving, I just want you aware that if the speed limit says 65, they're doing 75, if not 80 on the freeways. So just take extra care when you're out there on the highways. Even when you're at the red lights, please be careful. Um, people run red lights. And so just, just be cautious when you're out there. We love you and we want you to be safe. And then the second thing is the temperature in Arizona. 
day temps in April in Arizona can be hot. I mean, it's the desert and it's a dry heat. Uh, so if, if you're from the Midwest or anything like that and you're not used to dry heat, the temps are going to affect you differently. So just be aware that it can get pretty hot in April during the day. But in the evening when the sun goes down, it can get pretty brisk. So make sure to bring the appropriate attire and that you are well prepared for the changing temps in Arizona. So that brings us to pretty much the end of the video. Um, if you are attending bike, Arizona Bike Week, have a great time. Enjoy yourselves, meet wonderful people, and just make sure you ride safe. And again, Arizona Bike Week dates are April 6th through the 10th, and Cave Creek Bike Week is April 1st through the 10th. And there's one last thing I want to make sure I mention. When you're at Westworld, as you're coming into the entrance, there's going to be a photographer. Anyways, there used to be a photographer who used to sit there. I'm sure there still is. Um, as you're coming into Westworld, there's going to be a photographer getting ready to take your picture. So make sure you're prepared and you're ready to strike the pose and um, to get that picture. So... I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notification button, make sure you're hitting the notification button. That way you get notified of all my upcoming videos. My next video this coming weekend will be on some more updates on some more tent camping available in Sturgis. So make sure to stay tuned because there's a lot more coming your way. And as always, I hope you have a very beautiful and blessed day and make sure to ride safe. Talk to you soon.